What is good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's Bishop Sands, and I'm back with some NBA 2K16 play now gameplay. And this time, I'm using Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks. And to my surprise, like to my really to my surprise, my my opponent actually used the Minnesota Timberwolves, man. And when I saw him using Minnesota Timberwolves, like I thought about how I had to stop the person with the ball right now, which is Andrew Wiggins or Zach Levine, because you know, at least in 2K15. Everybody that has them two players on their team, whether it was my team or they were playing a quick game like we're doing right now, they tried to abuse the, the dunking ability for both of those players. So, you know, I had to try to eliminate that. But they ended up not even being that big of a problem for me. It was Car Anthony Towns, as you can see, man. He was abusing himself. Like, his abilities, he really knew how to work the ball down low. And he was getting Carl Anthony Towns' touches, man. That man was really was pretty much killing all my big men down low. And like I said, he was, he was just beasting, man. He, tremendous player you see him getting an M1 right here I decided to go with the Knicks because I think from now on what I'm going to try to do with this play now series is I'm going to just like I'm going to try to use every team in the NBA so I've already used the Chicago Bulls I'm now using um the New York Knicks as you can see and like I think I'm just going to go around and try to use every team in the NBA instead of using just one team one OP team or just one team that has a lot of great stars I'm going to try to go around and use every team to see how far I can make it as we're on our way to road to go but um I decided to use Carmelo Anthony in the Knicks uh, because uh, I was thinking about how the Knicks were actually playing in real life because, you know, my favorite player, you know, Derrick Rose, you know, he does play in the Chicago Bulls. We end up losing to the New York Knicks, which really hurt me because, you know, if you told me a year ago that the Bulls would even be losing to the Knicks at all, I would have told you you were crazy. But Phil Jackson put together a team, and even though we did play in four overtimes, I'm not going to use fatigue as an excuse to why we lost to them. They actually just played good basketball because it was a close game up until the end. Where they finally started stretching on us, you know, Carmelo Anthony had a great game, which is another reason I wanted to use this team. Um, I mean, like I said, when you look at the Knicks team, they're not a lot of stars, but there are some role plays that really are going to, like, give them their extra points, their extra boost. And I feel like the Knicks are going to be just like the Milwaukee Bucks were last year when they come to the playoffs. And I feel like they're going to upset a team and eliminate them. I'm hoping that they get matched up against the Cavaliers, and I'm hoping that they match up against them and eliminate them, but I'm, I highly doubt it. And Kyrie Irving came back yesterday with a great game. Well, not a great game, but a, a good game, you know, for him to be coming off injuries. He had 12-4, and four, I think. And um, But if the Knicks were to upset the Cavaliers in the playoffs and eliminate them, I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there right now. Y'all can say what y'all want to say in the comments section, but if, if the Cavaliers get eliminated, man, the Chicago Bulls are going to the finals. I mean, we, we did have a struggle last year against the Milwaukee Bucks, but I don't see that happening this year. I feel like we are the best team in the East aside from, uh, how about to say aside from Chicago, but aside from the Cavaliers. So if another team was too upset the Cavaliers, we're going to the finals, man. Like the, war, the I'm about to say the Warriors, the Wizards are doing really good. The Hawks always do really good, but when it comes to the postseason, they just don't pull it, they don't pull it off. You know what I'm saying? Like the only team that really gives the Chicago Bulls a problem in the playoffs is the Cavaliers. We never make it past LeBron James. So if another team can get rid of him for us, then we got an easy ride, man. That's just my opinion, my personal opinion. Um, but aside from that, man, like when you, like I said, if you look at the Knicks, when the NBA draft was happening for this past draft that just went by and the Knicks drafted Porzingis, people booed Christoph Porzingis, man. Booed him. They were, they were pissed that they, they decided to pick this man instead of, um, I can't even remember the other rookie, man. But they decided to pick Porzingis and people booed him. It had to be embarrassing for him, but like now look at what he's become for this team. There's a lot of people who booed him, and now look what he's doing. Like, if you ask me, he's actually starting to become the face of the New York Knicks. Of course, Melo's always going to be a star. But Porzingis is starting to slowly become the piece that I think that Phil Jackson is going to want to build his team around. Like, um, that's, that's just a way, another way, like, for me, not for me, but for the whole pe world, like, just to say, you know, don't judge body by the cover, of, like, a book by his cover. You know, you know the same. Because he, like, he came over here, and he did his thing. He, like... Where rather it's a put back dunk, he can do it. Yo, this man can do it all really on the offensive side of the ball. I really haven't seen too much from Porzingis on defense to make me really believe that he can be like the defender that he he can really like have the potential to be. I feel like if he actually has put defense into his, his game, he could be on the like the level of Anthony Davis, man, at the power forward position because he has a lot of potential going, going for him, man. The same thing with like. Andrew Wiggins and the Timberwolves, if they can really get him to the peak of his gameplay, they might actually have a start to build around between him and uh, and Carl Anthony Towns. But Porzingis, man, like I said, people really booed that man. And now look what he's done for their franchise. Um, 
I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that the um, New York Knicks actually said that they, they're going to make the playoffs this year. So we'll, we'll see. If they do make the playoffs, like I said, I just hope that they eliminate the Cavaliers if they get matched up against them. And I'm hoping that you know the Bulls will get get back, like bounce back off that loss. They'll pull it together. We get back on a win streak. We were on a four game win streak and then we lost. You know what I'm saying? A four game win streak and then we lost to the um, who did we lose to them four times? So the Detroit Pistons, who are also another team that is surprising me this year. They actually are doing not the best, but not they're way better than they were last year. They're doing a lot of things the right way. And I just need the, the Chicago Bulls to get on one accord, man. If a team that's on one accord is a team that really can't be beat, as you can see with the, the Golden State Warriors, man. Of course, they got their one loss or whatever, but, man, look how long it took. When you're on one accord, it's hard to beat that team that's on one accord. You know, if we can get there, if we can get used to this coach, which I personally think that we should have kept Tom Thibodeau, we can really make it, man. We can really get to the top. And we need Derrick Rose or Jimmy Butler not to just try to be a leader stat-wise, but a leader as a leader, man, like bring it, do LeBron, LeBron James or Kevin Durant and take your team to that peak that you know they can get to. As you see, man, you look at the stats, man. Everybody in this team really scored this game, except for like two people. But that's pretty much it, man. I want let me know what your thoughts are on the NBA right now. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm Bishop Sands, and I'm out, man. Peace.